Radio Raheem at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City with John David Jackson. You've got to be the proudest guy on the planet right now. But well, we just saw Clarissa Shields. I believe she won every round. She certainly does. <laughs> do you? Actually, I do. I do. I thought she 10 on. 10 on. You have to talk to me about the strategy. I mean, everybody knew Clarissa is a is a, an aggressive fighter, yes. and she wasn't going to back up. She was definitely coming to get it. But I would say probably her defensive skills surprised a few, and it certainly surprised uh, Christina. Yes. Talk to me about honing this strategy and, and what she did in there and how that uh, came plan came, came to, to be. Well, I knew two things. I knew that, first of all, that um, Christina had good leg movement. You know, what the best, but... It, it worked for her. So I knew that we had to make her engage, cut the ring off, and make her fight. But then I looked at it, and I said, you know what? Clarissa's a hell of a boxer. I said, so let's do this. Let's make the boxer box with you. Because most fighters, really, if you box, you can't outbox a boxer. Because, you know, you say you got one guys to be aggressive and come towards you. When you fight in the boxer, it throws your game plan off. So I said, let's, let's, let's be aggressive and go to it, but let's move your head. Let's start rolling, bobbing and weaving, making a miss shots. And she did that well. And that threw Christina completely off. And, you know, so all she could do is grab and hold pretty much. And, you know, I, I was very... I had it like you, 10 I thought she shut her out. She looked great. She did her thing. Didn't get a knockout, but she definitely was the better fighter, and she had the heavier hands, and she outworked her. She did, by she, I mean Clarissa, mentioned that the jab is no joke. And it, they call her hammer for a reason, and that jab was a real thing. Was there any points in the fight where you were concerned or you saw her um, having any difficulties? No, not really. You know, I told her like round seven, I said, take this run off a little bit. I said, you know, kind of bait her in, see if you can get her and surprise with some shots. And just outbox her. Make, make, make her mentally get off her game. And that's what she did. You know, I, I knew that Christina going in had a good jab. And I asked her myself, I said, how's the jab feel? She said, that jab hurts. So <laughs> I said, okay, guess what? Then you either jab with her or feign her. I said, but get her out of her game plan just trying to jab at you. You got you to gotta, you gotta catch that jab and fire right back. And she did it a couple of times. So everything has to do, she did, and it worked, it worked well for her. I don't think slipping and bobbing is a kind of thing you can just learn between one fight and the next. But we haven't seen that from Clarissa. How did you know she'd be able to do it and then perform that way for 10 rounds? Well, when I got in the gym and I'm, I'm throwing those mitts at her head, you better, you better move, you know, or, hey, it's going to happen. But, you know, listen, no fighter really wants to get hit. I don't care if a guy says I love getting hit. That's bull crap. You know, and I knew that, you know, she wants to stay beautiful as long as she can. So, hey, listen, move that head. Don't, and, you know, don't let Christine hit you with a shot and get, get brave and excited. I said, be smart. Make her miss and then make her pay. And a couple of times she did. A couple of times she's made a miss and was real nice. She didn't pay. She didn't make a hit. She didn't hit her back. But as time went on, she began to make her pay for the misses that she, she made her miss with. So I was happy with her performance. You know, she only get better, but there's only a few more fighters that really can have this magnitude of, to be in the fight out and make her really fight the way she needs to. It can happen, but she has to stay focused and she has to draw those people out. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of words you could use to describe a dominant performance in boxing, but in this particular fight, uh, I would say discipline yes. comes to mind. Knowing how aggressive she is, knowing that this fight ha was supposed to happen and then she had to wait yeah. and Clarissa's attitude, how did you manage to keep her focus and discipline to the game plan for 10 rounds and not get overexcited, not over aggressive? Well, I would just, you know, I would calmly just remind her, you know, what, what you're here for. And I, and, I, and I told her, I said, listen, the fact that she pulled out April of last year and she kept pulling out during the, the course of 19, 2018, I said, that gave us a whole year to get with you and get to know each other and for me to formulate this plan better for you than just to have eight weeks in our first fight together. And I said, it was a blessing in disguise for us. I said, because it got me to give me a chance to get to know you better and your chance to know what I'm trying to teach you better. And, you know, she's a student of boxing. A lot of people say she's hard-headed and she doesn't listen, but that's, no. To me, she listens. And maybe she has more respect for me than, than most trainers or whatever. I'm not, I hate to say it that way, but she listens. Everything I asked her to do, she did each fight. What I asked her to do, she does for me, and it works for her. So this fight here, I think she really believed. She saw it. She, was letting it, she dropped her hand and making the girl miss. So I said, okay, okay, listen. I, I would tell her, listen, she's going to get careless. I said, like, the, especially the 10th round, I said, do me a favor. This is the 10th round. She's desperate. She has to know she's behind. Don't get careless and look cute. You can make her miss, but when you're finished with that last shot, roll your head one more time and get out of there. I'll fire her back. So and that's what she did. Now, looking forward, uh, you talk about she listens, but... Again, in the ring, she already called out Breakus, and she kind of put herself behind the eight ball by setting it at 54. Uh, is that the best path for her? And making a weight at 54 might seem like a struggle. How do you feel about that being the next fight? 
well, I don't want to kill the fight, so I'm going to say it like this to you. At 54, it's a nice, because it's a catchweight for both. I think Brock is 47, and she's 60. So if you meet at 54, you meet in the middle. Hey, it's a good fight for her. Um, she, you know, she sees she needs someone like Cecilia because Cecilia has been around for a while. She's proven, she's tested, she's tested, she's been, she's proven herself. So that's a logical fight if they can make it happen. If Cecilia is willing to take that fight, and the fact that she want to go to 54 makes it even for both because Cecilia can move up and not, you know, she'd be stronger at 54, and Clarissa has to lose weight and it may, it might work against her losing that extra six pounds from going from coming from 60. So, you know, it's a good fight, and I think the fans deserve it. If it's the right kind of money's made for both fighters that they feel comfortable with it, they make the fight. Um, I told her, I said, listen, there's always going to be somebody that's for you. Maybe the end of this year, maybe 2020. Trust me, someone's going to come out the woodwork that, that will become a, for, uh, a formidable opponent for you. And I said, so just, we got to stay on top of our game. And lastly, let's say that fight does happen 54 and goes just that way. You had to use head movement this time. You had to use discipline, be patient for uh, Christina Hammer, what would you have to add to her arsenal for Cecilia Brekus? Uh, I don't want her to try to chase Cecilia. I just think she's just honing her boxing skills just a little bit more. Because, you know, Cecilia's been around, she's long in the tooth. She's been around for a while. You get those young legs, you know, you get, you get that young body. Make her work. Make that old person work. Make her work harder than what she wants to work. Hey, you know, listen, this is a proven fact. This is time tested. She can outbox her. She can last longer. Listen, if it gets real bad, say, listen, let me, let's make it a three round, ten round fight, three, three minute rounds, you know, but they won't do that. But listen, it's, it's, it's a good fight. It's a lot, a lot of questionable things if the fight happens. And age, youth, who's stronger? Will she be weak at 54? Will Cecilia be stronger at 54? There's a lot, of, there's a lot of things that you know make that fight interesting if it can be made. You know, you did mention that these fights do seem a bit short. The two-minute rounds. I don't understand why it's necessary to shorten uh, the women's boxing by a minute per round. Do you think that that is it? Like, wh why is that? And do you agree? I, I, I think it's a. Uh, <coughs> actually, I think it's a insult to females. They're just a strong. Listen, they they do a lot of things that guys can do in sports, and they they proven that they they, they can have the stamina to withstand that extra minute. Even, even um, Clarissa, she says that. She said, I wish we fought three minute rounds. Why do guys get to fight three minutes and we only fight two? I say, good point. So, and 10 rounds instead of 12. Exactly. You know, she, she feels insulted by that. So I said, let's bring it up. You know, they, they might say, well, you know, for, for female boxing, it's better for two minutes. Why? Listen, most females don't punch that hard, unfortunately. Clarissa's different. She tries to take your head off. She has bad intentions each round. You know, so I think three minutes is, 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 is good for the females. Listen, it gives you a minute more to do a little, uh, some more damage if you can do that. Maybe that minute might help somebody, you know, be more convincing in, in, in their victory. I mean, to me, it's an insult. You know, give them three minutes. It's not going to kill them. They, they, they've proven they can do three minutes. You know, Clarissa, like this, in this camp here, I had to do three minute rounds. She didn't realize it. She, you know, she thought it was two and sometimes two and a half. I just... Wouldn't say anything. I, 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 I held my my hand, my timer in my hand, and said, "Listen, you know, just just keep boxing. I'll tell you when the round's over, you know." <laughs> and it worked for it. It got her stamina up, and she was good to go. With three minute rounds and twelve rounds, we might have gotten a, a knockout tonight. Congratulations, man, on an excellent corner performance. What is a must have been an incredible camp because it showed and proved here tonight. Radio Raheem with John David Jackson, victorious in Atlantic yeah, City. I just want to say when 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 fighters listen to me. They do well. Some fighters say, oh, they weren't taught. That's because they didn't listen. That's their problem. But when you listen, the game plan works to a T. The coach of the unified middleweight champion of the world, Chris, uh, Clarissa Shields. Congratulations, Thank coach. You. My pleasure. Thank Radio Rahim with John David Jackson.